What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about Ethereum today. If you guys could hit that like button before we get started, hit that subscribe button as well. It's always appreciated. Thank you very much. We're sitting at about $3,781 right now for Ethereum. Looking at the daily RSI, we're going to do some, you know, just relatively short term price uh, predictions, right? Price targets to give here. Looking at the daily RSI, we do have a little bit of a downtrend going with these lower highs, lower lows. It's very, like it's just begun if it is a downtrend at all, right? But you can tell it's postured to the downside this little part here if we look at the same consolidation phase on the price it's actually postured to the upside closing prices are getting higher both on the lows and the highs um, this is a very bullish kind of situation to be in you know the rsi however little it is it's it's cooled off even though it's only just a little bit it has cooled off while the price hasn't really given up any grounds at all if anything it's been gaining grounds so that's really bullish to see. That would imply, you know, if we do break out to the upside, that this this move overall um, would be continued, right? Assuming something like this could happen, basically, where where we kind of mimic this move leading into the consolidation phase, it's a little ABC move, a one, two, three, um, and that would take us into our expected Fib area, but around about four thousand five hundred dollars. $5,100, that's the target area. We're at 3,781 right now. Being that this is on the daily, this could happen, I mean, sometime in June, right? This could be our next move. It could happen sometime in June. If we were to do it at the same kind of pace of growth here, it, it really could happen, um, you know, maybe in the first week of June or even, you know, the second week of June. But I would think soon we are gonna break out to the upside. This, this RSI is very bullishly postured. Uh, looking at the four hour RSI, a little bit bearish, a little bit bearish actually. The, the four hour would suggest that we go a little bit lower first and that's okay, we can go lower first. Um, I would expect us to get into the oversold zone. Where are we gonna go if we were to get oversold? Low to high? Yeah, okay. How we're interacting with the 382, it wouldn't surprise me if we rejected here and we went down to about 3,687, we're at 3,781 now. So drop about $100 potentially a little bit lower but by like 30 bucks from there. So $100, $130. We could go lower, it is possible, but really I'm thinking somewhere right around here to here, right? Where these 618 and 69 lines are. And that's right at the base of this kind of consolidation anyways, where, where we were closing, where we were wicking, finding support, moving up. So that makes sense. I bet, I bet we do do that over the coming days, probably over the next like two to three days, I would assume. Um, it could be today that we hit this zone. It could be, but I would think maybe tomorrow or the next day. Over the next three days, I'm fairly confident. Probably to close out this week, we move down, and then to open up next week, we finish off that down move, and then we start moving up, I would say, next week. So I guess we're just waiting for this week to close for this thing to uh, move down a little bit more, just a little bit more, and then and then we'll see that inevitable pump. Um, I want to look at the weekly here. Yeah, the weekly RSI looks great, it really does. It's kind of in a similar situation as, as Bitcoin is where it wouldn't be ideal to reject this area. You're not quite at the overbought zone, but I mean, you basically are. Um, rejecting this area wouldn't look good. It just wouldn't be an ideal situation. So it's okay, it's okay to have a little bit of a red, it's okay to pull back a little bit, but we wouldn't want to get Ideally, you wouldn't want to get back below the 60 or, or not too far from it. Something like that's okay. You know, getting back down here or even like below the 50, obviously, that would not be good. Um, looking at Ethereum's weekly RSI, it looks to be in really good shape. Higher highs, higher lows. You're in a nice established uh, bullish trend. Based off the way this looks, I would assume that the next top would be in the overbought zone, not just shy of it but could we have a couple small ones beforehand sure you know it's not going to be perfect working your way all the way up there but um it would seem you know a bit lackluster you take this low we went all the way up here and then here's our next low you know like this right it'd be a bit lackluster if our if our next low in this kind of string of lows that's not the most perfectly drawn line but you can see what i'm going off of here right these these lows here um if this was all we got so i am hoping that we get more than that not only that we bounced off the 50 so this this in itself does put us in a really bullish uh situation along with everything else that's going on so i would expect week to week ethereum does grow and this this downside will only last for like two to three days two to three days more is what i'm thinking uh if it gets 
down there today, cool. And what do I mean by down there? I mean about $100 lower, so about $3,680 to $3,650, somewhere in that area, right? And then up. Yeah, the short, shorter term time frames do look a little bit bearish. Anyways, that's all I got to say. I don't think I have anything else that I want to add on to that. If you guys want to hit that like button and subscribe one last time, I very much do appreciate you for doing that. I do believe Ethereum will see new all-time highs by the end of the cycle. I absolutely do. I like the monthly RSI. I like where it's postured right now, how it looks. You broke out of the overbought zone. and You're looking like maybe with this monthly close. Oh, maybe not. If we go down over the next two to three days, the month will close uh, a little bit lower, which would actually make this RSI close not quite in the overbought zone. But as it reaches back into the overbought zone, that'll be a really bullish look. Um, I would expect the remainder of this year, you know, maybe not all months will be exciting, but there will be a handful of months that are really exciting. And I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this year, we are, we were at new all time highs. Um, potentially, you know, we could be at new all time highs potentially by the end of this summer, even, but as far as these targets go, 7,700, to 14,000 go, um, you know, maybe we could hit this by the end of the year, maybe, but these are more kind of end of the cycle targets that I'm thinking. Uh, and if we hit that, that doesn't mean that we're at the end. I mean, it could mean that we're at the end of the cycle hitting this one, two, seven, two, seven thousand seven hundred and fifty two dollars But I think that Ethereum will top off higher than that. I think that we'd probably see, I would think at least 10 K if not beyond that potentially as high as like 20 K so we're $3,700 now though. So that's a bit of a ways away from now that is months away, you know, in the day to day, it's going down a little bit and that's all I got to say. So take care. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.